The new legendary obsidian armor is here, and with that, a new farming method for it that didn't used to be needed for most of other legendaries. Lanterns. Starlight lanterns to be specific, and they work a bit different than the EOD ones. Let's talk about it. I'm going to give you a few uh, tips to make them faster and how they work and how to install trails as well. Let's see. So right time for working on this. And let's get into So in order to get the new legendary obsidian armor, you need to get a gift of inner Naos, which, uh, well, inner Naos, uh, Amethas and Skywatch Archipelago. All of them together with the gifts of persistence that you get with the currencies, you get a gift of faster ward. And the way to get the Skywatch Archipelago, Amnitas and Internaos is by doing map completion in each of these things. Uh, the problem is that Internaos, you cannot do the map completion completely. You have to instead go for a full lantern. A lantern run is where you go around the whole map searching for these little starlight lanterns that you have to light up. And when you get all of them in the in the um in the map, you get one of these. Uh, one of the respective gifts. And if you do an inner nails, gift of inner nails. If you get the Amnitas one, you get the gift of Amnitas. If you do the Skywatch Archipelago one, you get the gift of Skywatch Archipelago. First, I would heavily recommend you to uninstall the trails as they will tell you where to go, uh, how to do it very fast. And this will, you know, make you your lantern runs very, very fast. Um, you should, uh, this also applies to map completion. They usually have both, as you can see here in markers and trails, have T's trails, and I can choose between map completion and lanterns, depending on the one that I need in this case. Um, in order to up, in order to get in there and you know install it, you wanna install Blish HUD. So you want to go to Blish HUD, you wanna go to manage no module repository, and you wanna search for pathing. It does it's here it says <clears throat> Markers and oh, I guess they changed the name actually because they used to be markers and trails, but they changed to pathing. There you go, and this will you know enable you to get this one, uh, this add-on that will show you everything, everything where you want to go. Uh, you also want to go to download marker packs and search for the one that you really like. Personally, I really like the tail one. I think it's very cool because it has some you know certain items that you can use you know to make it a bit faster. It uses jade personal waypoints for you to, or let's say that you know there's like one spot that is very hard to get to. And you want to go from one place to the other. It tells you to put a personal weapon right here. So in case you go for one place and then you just come back. And then that way you don't have to get back to the top uh, very hard, right? Um, in, a, in a hard way, right? It's very, very easy. It also uses things like the prototype position winder. Let's say, for example, that there's a lantern right here. But you want to continue through that path. You can just go in here. Oh, my bad. I uh, fucked it up. Let me just... Oh my god, of course. Of course the waypoint just happened. It's actually going to be good, because I cannot use my waypoint to come back. I plus 6. Uh, here we go. And then, after this, after marking the location that I just did, I press 2. After that, yeah, I use my starlight uh, lantern, and then I'll be able to come back. Very, very useful. Very, very useful. And how do lanterns work? Uh, what you want to... They work very differently than the uh, ones in EOD. Because you can actually move... Um, while you're casting them. You know, it's going to go here, for example. This one right there. And I can, for example, get into my mount. Press F. And it will cast regardless. The OD ones, you can't. You can't, You have to stay in the uh, same spot every every time. And look at that. I'm already on the next one. Uh, right here, right? It's actually perfect. And the only part, uh, the only part that kind of sucks, I guess, is that you cannot actually mount up after using the... Uh, the lantern. So you want to ideally, for example, let's say that I'm in my griffin here, but I actually need to use my sky skill to keep going. I want to mount up first on my sky skill, then use the lantern, and then start moving. You can actually even uh, use my, you know, use a waypoint, and it will count regardless. It will still count. It will not get interrupted, which is very, very, very useful. This will make the lanterns way, way faster than anything in uh, other, in the other expansion like uh, EOD. It actually makes it so fast that it is close to the map completion. Map completion, definitely, I think it's a bit faster just because of the nature of lanterns. But the difference is not that bad. For this map specifically, I was doing runs of what? On map completion, I was doing runs of like 30 minutes. On lanterns, I was doing, I was doing 15 minute runs. Of course, I was going very, very fast, but it actually worked pretty well. Um, for Amnitas, I think it's a bit worse. I really I like the Amethyst Lantern run though. It was around I think it would, 
it was I was doing like 17 minutes on lanterns and like 15 minutes on map completion. But of course, map completion, even though it's a bit faster, you're gonna need more uh, characters in order to do it. As you know, you uh, once you get 1% completion, you're not gonna be able to do it again. That being said, Irenaeus only, only, only has uh, lanterns, nothing else. So you are gonna have to do the lantern run. I don't think, I, I think maybe we just got updated the uh, marker pack for, no, I don't think it's actually updated right now. Maybe on another pack that is not Tess, it is it is updated. I do have I do know exactly the the run, so I'm just gonna start running. Uh, meanwhile, but uh, you can definitely just go check a video. I know that Reddish has a marker pack, uh, a trail pack for the specific Inner Neos, um, the specific Inner Neos, uh trail. I'm guessing it's a bit hard to install, but I'll link, uh, I'll link a link in the description for you guys to install it if you need it. But it works the same way, and the same uh, the same strategies can be used for you to like be able to um, to get all the lanterns way faster. I honestly really like the lanterns. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely be careful with that specifically. So you're gonna get, you know, the ley lines. You wanna disable it from time to time so you don't get pushed. Uh, but I do think, um, I do think lanterns runs now are actually very good. Uh, they didn't used to be. The EOD ones are very, very annoying because you need batteries and you need to be stuck there, not being able to be, you know, not being able to move. But these ones are just honestly so fun. You just go around, you're using the lanterns all the time, you're not really having a lot of issues, uh, you know, passing through them. You're always just blasting, keep, you know, going fast, not stopping. It For me, it was very, very fun for me to do this lantern runs. The only, I guess, bad part is that you can't really get gold out of it. It's just for the Obsidian Legendary Armor. It would be kind of fun for me. I think I would really like it if the um, if you could do something like you know three uh, e Soto lan lantern runs transforms into one EOD lantern run, and you can just exchange the items that uh, these maps give you for one EOD one. That way, I can do this uh, lantern run instead, as it's way more enjoyable. But I don't think, uh, I mean, maybe that will never happen. I do think Arena has, and I kind of want to talk about map completion one day in another video, on how, honestly, not any other uh, any other MMO really has something like this. Uh, some, you know, map completion, map completion uh, that actually is profitable for you to do as actual content in the game. And honestly, making it fast, um, you know, traversing through the maps, learning the routes, doing little tricks to make it faster, like your, the position you're one there or the Jade Bot, or even something like going to the edge of the, uh, this is actually used a lot of times, going to the edge of the map to get reset into the last place that you were at. Uh, you know, I think they're pretty, pretty cool strategies and I think I think it makes the uh, map completion very, very fun. So yeah, uh, that's usually, that would be my uh, tips on how to do it. And that would be what I think, um, I do think it's very good. I think it's very, very good. So. Yeah, tell me if you guys have any questions, if you have any other tricks that you use, and remember to get your J personal away point mastery from EOD. Uh, there we go, where is it? Jade bot, sorry, oh, Jade Tech waypoints, and your rewinder, but protect position rewinder from Sunsop Isles as well. They're very, very useful for not only this, but for other things as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Like go to my Discord to hang out off of stream. And uh, go to my Twitch, that TV slash with us to hang out as well on stream and do some stupid memes like dying to Aura every day, all day. That's what we did today. It was an interesting stream. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys alone. Love you all. Bye bye.